what is going on guys this is me Batman Ricky Black Hatman today I'm back again with another job tutorial for you guys and what I'm gonna decide um, excuse me what I decided to show you today is that uh, I want to teach you uh, logical operators and um, let's see what they are so in the last tutorial I showed you um, if a statement and how to use if statements in your programming um, language and the default um, situation that was um, um, what is this yes we simply said um, if um, boy is less than um, 10 then do these things in your curly bracket and for now just say system dot out dot print line um, what we print line um, we want to print um, for example yes you can um, enter and for the um, no situation we wrote else um, this line and no you can not enter mm, this no excuse me a second I have to X out of this program so what I did now by the way um, if you have just one line of code in your um, if statement or even the else statement you don't have to um, use the curly brackets here and here you don't have to do that okay because um, there is just one line of code for one line of code uh, there is no need to use the curly bracket so let's now run the program and see what we did in the last tutorial yes and of course 10 uh, 5 which is the boy uh, in, uh, variable is less than 10 and yes you can enter so what I'm gonna show you now is called um, logical operator which tests multiple um, tests in one test for example you have one if statement and you wanna test two or more than two um, situations if true or more than uh, two, two situations are false then do this so for example let's say if boy is uh, less than five and um girl is um greater than five okay so what i did now is that i added this um to and sign to my um if statement situation test and what this um, these two um, and size do they actually uh, mean and if boy is less than 10 and girl also is more than 5 or um, greater than 5 then do this line of code else whatever it is just print this line so let's now run the app yes you can enter did you get what the point that I wanted to show you okay um, and means both of the situations that you enter <coughs> excuse me both of the situations um, has have to be true okay this one has to be true this one has to be true okay so the other thing that I want to show you is called um, or and or is this um, you can um, use these two uh, little pipes these um, two pipes after each other they mean or okay um, despite or uh, this pipe excuse me um, unlike and which um, checks the both situations to be true um, in or situation if one of those situations is true then it goes to the line of code and 
that doesn't matter uh, if one of them is true or the other one is false or one of them is false the other one is true that doesn't matter if just one of the situations is true it goes to um, execute the line of code okay it doesn't go to the else statement so let's now um, run the app and let's just um, make this equal and then run the app to have one false statement okay this one is true this one is false to show you the ex exact point of the or statement yes you can enter what is the reason because um, this line of code this boy uh, if boy um, less than 10 is true boy is 5 but girl is not equal 5 girl is 6 okay so this is or is this one true or this one is true this one is true so let's print it out okay um that was it that was it a um, short tutorial for logical operators in Jeff and um, I hope you guys watching this video sorry um, today I'm not in the mood of um, that much um, sense of humor and I hope you guys watching enjoyed watching this video and if you did please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and also check out my other tutorials at and this video going on like this job. Um, I'm glad to see you again and check out my other tutorials. Catch you next tutorial.